In this video we'll be looking at thirds and how to simplify them. So a lot of you may have no idea what a third is, and neither did I when I first saw them. If we have a look at these five here, three of them are classed as thirds. A third is just when a number is under a square root, but it can't be square rooted easily. So look at these five here, quickly pause the video and try and identify which of them can't be square rooted easily. Hopefully you've managed to have a go, and we can see that the 7, 24, and 72 aren't square numbers and so can't be rooted. These are our three thirds. We can see that the square root of 16 would equal 4, and the square root of 36 is going to equal 6. On the next page we have these three, and we are going to look at how we can write them in a simplified way. A common form for simplifying is a root b, where a and b are both integers or whole numbers. So if we have a look at the first one, we have root 7. In some situations, you will find that you can't simplify. In this case, 7 would be one of those. So we leave it as it is. Okay, 24 and 72 we can both simplify. What the simplifying actually involves is we need to find two numbers that multiply together to make 24, but one of them must be a square number, because when you're working with square roots, if we put a square number in, for example in this situation we would have root 4 and root 6, together we times them, they make root 24, however square root of 4 would give us 2. So we can simplify this down to 2 root 6, and that would be your final answer. Now if we have another go at 72, again if you feel like you're confident with this, pause the video, give it a go before I show you the answer. Now the square root of 72 can be broken up to many things, however we always want to try and pick the highest square number. So in this situation it would actually be 36. So the square root of 36 and the square root of 2, because they times together to make 72. So the square root of 36 makes 6, and then we put the root 2 next to it. You can see here that if we were to go with, for example, the square root of 9 and the square root of 8, this is also a viable method. It does also make 72. However, because it's not the biggest one, it's not going to simplify it fully. So we can write this as 3 root 8. However, our root 8 can be split into root 4 and root 2 as well. This will eventually leave us with three lots of 2 root 2, which again will leave us with 6 root 2 at the end. So it will give us the same answer, but it's just a little bit more complicated. So it's always easier to pick the biggest square number if possible. Thank you for watching and I hope that helped.